G'day friends and welcome back to Aussie Moto and Outdoors. Today I was busy, it was raining, I had things to do, I didn't get to get on the bike so I've put together a top 6 list of iconic motorcycles. Alright, so this is a list of six iconic motorcycles from movies I've enjoyed over the years. Now this list was meant to be ranked in order of preference, but I kept changing it and changing it because I couldn't decide which was the best bike. So it's in random order. Kicking off with Terminator 2 and the famous Harley Davidson fat boy that Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, the Terminator T-800, stole in his mission to save John Connor. Now it's hard to find a more iconic person on a motorcycle than this. Arnold Schwarzenegger on a Harley Davidson. It's just an image that is meant to be. It looks incredible. He pulls it off so well and there is no better bike for this than the Harley Davidson. So regardless of the kind of bike you're into, be it cruisers or sport bikes or adventure bikes, it's, you cannot deny that this is an iconic motorcycle in an iconic movie. And while we're talking about it, we probably should do an honourable mention for the little Honda XR100 that Edward Furlong's character John Connor is riding in this movie. Now rumour has it he still has that bike. Number 5, Top Gun Maverick, the Kawasaki Ninja H2. At the time of filming, it was the fastest production bike you could get and very fitting for somebody like Maverick or Tom Cruise. Absolutely spectacular looking motorcycle and again Tom Cruise, one of the coolest dudes on the planet, he pulls it off brilliantly. Number 4, Matrix Reloaded and the Ducati 996. Now I read that Trinity, or the actor that played her, had never ridden a motorcycle before this movie so I had to go through extensive training just to know what to do. You wouldn't think that watching the movie, she looked ultimately confident in everything she did and this bike just looked amazing. Number 3, we're back to Top Gun and again it's a Kawasaki, it's a GPZ900R which at the time of filming this movie was apparently the fastest production motorcycle you could get. I read that the US Navy regards the movie Top Gun as one of the greatest recruitment films ever as people were signing up to join in record numbers following the film's release and you have to wonder if it did the same thing for Kawasaki motorcycle sales. Number 2, Cool as Ice and Vanilla Ice on his Suzuki GSX-R 1100. Now say what you like about Vanilla Ice, say what you like about the movie Cool as Ice, I actually quite enjoyed it back in the 90s, but there is absolutely no denying that this motorcycle was gorgeous and the GSX-R is such an icon and that's why it deserves to be on the list. Now just having seen those clips of Top Gun and the clips of Cool as Ice, I have to give an honourable mention paying tribute to the guy, paying tribute to both of those movies. This is Charlie Sheen in Hot Shots. Charlie Sheen's character Topper Harley is on a Trans Alps 600. And although completely tongue in cheek and comedic, this is still an iconic motorcycle scene. It's so well done and Charlie Sheen just really looks apart on that motorbike. Number one, and this is from The Great Escape in a much older movie but still completely iconic. This is a Triumph TR6 Trophy. Alright, don't be tricked by the name of this movie, it's called The Great Escape, but the escape was anything but great. It was mediocre at best. They all got recaptured or killed and put back in military prison. Throughout this entire motorcycle scene, you think he's going to get away, and although he makes one jump, the second one he ends up tangled up in barbed wire and caught by the SS. Now I've read there were quite a few options of motorcycle to use in this scene. They could have used a Harley, they could have used a BMW, but they wanted to go with a British motorcycle and hence they used the Triumph. Now I've also read that they don't actually know who performed the stunts on this motorcycle. There were three guys doing it and they each had a turn and apparently they each pulled it off and nobody knows apparently who made it into the final cut. Well that wraps up my list of iconic motorcycles from movies I've enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it too. What's your favourite or what have I left out? What is the quintessential iconic motorcycle that I should have put in this video and I didn't? Leave it down in the comments and we can discuss it. 
At the end of this week, I'll be back on the bike and making the normal videos again. We may be doing the review on Alexi's Harley Davidson. We may be doing the review on Rick's CF Moto. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. Consider liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, but more importantly, put your phones down and get outside. I see